Hello, everybody. <laughs> that was pretty good, right? Okay, everyone. Hello, hello. Welcome to my channel with Rach YouTube channel. I'm so happy you're here. Um, this is a little heart to heart. I'm coming to you with some encouragement, really. I'm not an expert on anything except for <laughs> drinking tequila. No, I'm kidding. Just kidding. That's my confession right now. I'm kidding. I'm not really kidding. <clears throat> Focus. Um, I definitely have ADHD. Definitely have ADHD. Def. If you want some videos on how to live with ADHD, just watch all my videos. No, I'm kidding. Um, okay, I digress. I just finished doing a guided meditation on uh, releasing perfection. Oh my goodness, perfection is such a major topic for myself and a lot of people in my life. And so I thought I would share a little bit on the subject and also maybe offer some tools, some tips that I'm working on this week in particular um, on how to release perfection, how to move through perfection in a mindful and, and holistic and healthy way. Um, and so I hope that this will help you. and. If there are ways in which you try to release perfection or overcome perfectionism, I would love to hear from you. So feel free to comment below on what that looks like to you and share, share with the group, would ya? Um, okay, a little story and then I'll get into the tips. I have fallen back in love with yoga. It has become a deeply meditative, healing practice for me. For Lent, um, something that I've been invited to for Lent is to actually add something, not subtract things. Well, not just subtract things, but also add things. And so for this year, uh, for Lent, I decided to add yoga five days a week. And I was successful in doing so. And I also just had this flood of positivity and peace and groundedness in my life and so highly recommend even if it's like 10 minutes a day do it it's amazing anyway my background in dance um, creates some stickiness when it relates to moving my body in any way whether it be at the gym yoga pilates dance studio rehearsal you know you name it and I was in class last week a friend of mine teaches it and she's wonderful and there was a moment where someone was like I kid you not like standing on their head and it, and I was I'm, I'm normally like in this very again like meditative deeply uh, introspective like breath healing space when I'm when I'm doing yoga it's, it's so good but for, whatever, for whatever reason I look over at this girl and she's doing heads down. I'm just like, I'm like, you freaking show off. I say that to myself in my head. I said, you freaking, I'm like, you show off. What is, what is, what is this woman doing, you know? And I immediately clocked it and like checked myself and I was like, Rachel, what are you doing? Like, this is your moment in your lane, in on your mat, for your body, for your health and wholeness. Why are you worrying about anybody else right now? Why are you making a comment? And in fact, good on you, you know, like keep, keep up the good work girl, you know? And I just had a moment and I, and I ended up like going through the rest of the series of, 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 of uh, poses. And there was a few poses that were quite difficult. And I just like felt really strong and grounded and like kind of fueled that negative energy into my body and by the end of class I was like in tears I had a whole like bawling fest in yoga because I literally had to come to a place of release from 
perfection because that's really what that was. That was me kind of projecting my own desire for perfectness, perfection, whatever, in my body and not mounting up. And for whatever reason, I was able to like clock it and uh, come back to a place of mindfulness and healing for myself. And it was a really wonderful, wonderful moment. And all this week I've been thinking about that moment and thinking about the growth, the invitation for growth around perfection. In that moment, and I believe for our lives, the first thing I thought about, and that is like stay in your lane, stay on your map, you know? So, so often we get distracted by people around us or, um, you know, it's one thing to be fueled and challenged by people around us and we feel like, you know, this, this, this competitiveness, you know, healthy competitiveness, you know, that's one thing. But if it's like tapping into a, a, a place of perfection or of like strife, then that can get, that can get dangerous. And so I just encourage you, like stay on your mat, stay in your lane, stay the path. Like we all know in, our, in and of ourselves what we should be focusing on, what we should be doing. And just, become mindful, aware of that purpose, that focus. Um, the second thing that I thought about releasing perfection is, is this, what happened was I had this grace-filled mindfulness. I had this like shift in my thought process that allowed me to give, have grace for myself, grace for her, and um, I became mindful again. I became um, focused on the present moment and in my body and embrace that mistake that I made and that setback and I allowed myself to grow through this cleansing of tears and of a breakdown, of a, of a moment of humility and surrender. And number three, um, re repetition over perfection, you guys. This is so based on um, Atomic Habits. Just finished reading the book, so good. Highly recommend. Um, he talks about like how you approach a habit and perfection is just gonna, is like that's the major destroyer of a habit. But repetition, right? Like, and, and repetition allows you to grow and to build and to, to, to get better at something, right? But if you just start by saying, I'm gonna do this every day, whenever I have a moment where I talk about someone else or I, I get out of my lane, I'm gonna, um, I'm going to every time come back to myself, come back to God, come back to the present moment, right? Um, and that allows for growth and for grace. I think so much of perfection, which Brene Brown talks a lot about this, is rooted in shame and rooted in like the fear of shame. Such a beautiful picture and way to also release fear is just to allow love of yourself and to, for others to come. And that's the recipe for all sorts of things that we struggle with like love yourself and love others and love god like love yourself love others love god like that is a recipe again for beauty and wholeness and health and all the things that we desire in this world so um that is my talk my tips on how to release perfection. I hope it was helpful. I hope that you at least feel less alone in your journey to release perfection. Please check out the guided meditation on perfection. I promise you it will not disappoint. Thank you as always for joining me. I will see you back here very soon. Much love.